Hi everybody, in this video, in this short video actually, I will explain uh, some in, some laryngeal ner muscle innervation. I will talk briefly about the nerves. Okay, uh, first of all you have to memorize these, uh, this table, uh, including these muscles and uh, the, their actions and most importantly, the innervation. Okay, uh, regarding the origin and insertion, once you know the, the name, you will know what's, what's the origin and insertion. Okay, so cricothyroid, which, uh, fr from the cricoid to the thyroid cartilage, and that's it. Uh, as as you can notice from this table, that most of the, uh, the inner, uh, most of the muscles are innervated by uh, the inferior laryngeal nerve, or what's called the recurrent laryngeal nerve, which are uh, which is a branches of which is a branch of uh, the vagus nerve, cranial, cranial nerve number ten. Okay, while only the cricothyroid is innervated by the external laryngeal nerve, which is also an uh, an a branch uh, is a branch of uh, cranial nerve ten. Okay. Uh, you can not in this uh, in this picture thus as you can see this the right vagus nerve okay and as descend it will have a, a branch that curve over the subclavian nerve uh, the subclavian artery on the uh, on the right side which is give the recurrent laryngeal nerve first of all uh, why why we call it the recurrent laryngeal recurrent nerve uh, as you can also it is, it is a logic name, okay. Uh, all the nerves go, uh, going from up to down, except the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Okay, it's recurrent because it comes from down to up. Okay, uh, that's one. Uh, it's, it's important to note that the right recurrent, the right recurrent laryngeal nerve going below the sub, right subclavian artery, while the left, uh, the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. Is going below, uh, arching over uh, the uh, the arch of the water. Okay. Uh, this is this when this is, this has an embryological basis, and you I will speak in another video uh, briefly about this. Okay. Uh, it's also important to note that uh, each each nerve is uh, it's, it's run with uh, with uh, other other artery. Okay, so uh, the inferior laryngeal nerve, which is also called uh, the recurrent laryngeal nerve, is is moving with our, uh, inferior laryngeal artery, while the internal branch of the sub superior laryngeal nerve uh, move with the superior laryngeal artery. Uh, while on the panel, the external the external branch branch of the superior laryngeal nerve moving with the superior thyroid. Okay. This just just in this in this picture is most obvious. Okay, so the internal laryngeal nerve uh, of of the uh, of the superior laryngeal nerve, the inter the, inter the, interior, the internal branch, sorry, uh, moving with the superior laryngeal artery, while the superior uh, thyroid artery moving with the external laryngeal uh, nerve or the external uh, external branch of the superior laryngeal nerve. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, the inferior laryngeal uh, artery uh, moving with the inferior, inferior laryngeal nerve, or what's called the same as uh, the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Okay, uh, that's it for uh, this video, and thanks a lot for watching my video. Mm -hmm.